Fellow graduates, congratulations. It's an honor to be speaking to you today. Mr. Hamilton, ODSS staff, and teachers, thank you for believing in us, challenging us, and supporting us over these last four years, and preparing us for whatever the future may hold. Mom and dad, parents, thank you for everything you've done for raising such wonderful children. Now young men and women who I'm so glad to be able to call my classmates and my friends. The people we are today are far from who we were when we first entered ODSS. Like many of you, I was scared and tried to fly under the radar as much as possible. Lay low, do your work, and go home. That was my mantra. I was a nerd from the gifted program who walked into school on the first day with my head down, my shirt tucked in, and I was wearing my dad's shoes. <laughs> I ran through the halls to make sure I wasn't late for class, where I would sit alone until people realized that they could cheat off me. <laughs> I was lost. I was a compass bearing no direction. Didn't know what I stood for didn't know who to believe in. I didn't know who I was or who I wanted to be. But as the years progressed, we started to find our way. No longer were we drifting alone. We had found each other. Fast forward to grade 12, our growth is obvious. As many of you know, I missed the first month of grade 12. In September of 2017, I joined a crew of Dutch sailors, strangers, to embark on a 7,000 kilometer journey sailing across the Atlantic Ocean. On the first day of school, I was closer to the people on the International Space Station than to anybody on land. On the second day of school, the third day of school, and the fourth day of school, we were hit by a tropical storm. Gale force winds ripped our mainsail in half, and as the freezing Atlantic water flooded the deck, I accepted that I might never make it back home. Surviving that makes me appreciate moments like these so much more. A month into the school year, on my first day of grade 12, I walked that same path from the parking lot to the double gym doors like I had done a thousand times before. This time, with my head held high, wearing my own shoes, <laughs> walking my own path. And as I entered the grad hall, Seeing my friends, being welcomed by all of you guys, is truly a moment I'll never forget. So thank you. And I imagine that's how a lot of you feel today. My story serves to prove that no matter how far we're pulled apart, our roots remain the same as OD bears. In 40 years, we'll still be talking about how we had NBA stars sleeping in the library. <laughs> How Mr. Berg made one of the most boring subjects enjoyable with his hilarious stories, crazy experiments, and most importantly, his genuine desire to see us succeed. We will remember the panic of getting our Phoenix Cup teams made just to go 0-3 on game day, <laughs> getting crushed by Bishop Mack. We'll remember the times when Mr. Silveri would hand out an extra slice of pizza on the house. <laughs> we'll remember scaling Mount Everest to get to after prom. And we'll, remember, <laughs> and we'll remember mainland's business classes every time we're manipulated by the big brands into spending our paychecks on the newest iPhone or $200 Lululemon pants. <laughs> Going into business myself, I feel the need to give mainland a commission on every dollar I earn in the future, as he was the one who inspired my career path and changed my perspective on the world. We'll always remember my, our teachers, and the impact that you guys have had on me drives me to want to give back in the future, with my ultimate goal being to return and teach, inspiring others like you have inspired us. And most importantly, we'll remember each other, as no matter how far we're pulled apart, our roots remain the same as OD bears. Finally, some words for the future. This message is critical in the transformation from childhood to adulthood. It will be a hard thing to hear and an even harder pill to swallow. 
the graduates, welcome to the real world. At this point in our lives, it's time to embark on our own journeys. And in doing that, we must break up with our parents. <laughs> and they must have the courage to let go of us. Don't get me wrong, I am and will always be so, so grateful for my parents' love and sacrifice. But a parent's job is not to baby us until the day they die. <laughs> and although we may, may be safe and comfortable at home, just as a ship is safe in harbor, they are meant for the ocean as we are meant for the world. Woo. Parents, your words and your teachings will resonate with us forever. No longer are we living with you, we are living through you. Take pride in our independence and let us go. Students, no matter how abundant our parents' love and support may be, there's a price we pay in holding ourselves back. Columbus said that to cross the ocean, we must first lose sight of the shore. It's time to live life on our own terms, to live free of any expectations and take full responsibility over yourself. Nobody else, yourself over your failures and over your success. Take advantage of the time we have in front of us, our potential to do great things. How much do you think a dead billionaire would pay to be in your seat today? Realize that your potential is priceless. Don't let that go to waste. So set sail and embark on your journeys into the real world. You too will hit hurricanes but as Bear Grill has taught me, <laughs> truly the most important lesson I've ever learned. If you can smile when it's raining, then everything else in life will be okay. So go into waters unknown. Because no matter how far we're pulled apart, our roots remain the same as OD bears. Thank you.